And here comes the answer for the question whose responsibility it is. And the direct answer is that it's the responsibility of every single Muslim, be it male or female. We are all responsible. This doesn't mean, this does not need a decision maker to guide us and say, hey, listen, you must do so and so so that you can achieve unity. Otherwise, we are just going to exchange blames and we are going to blame each other. If we are not going to do and to practice and implement practical procedures with the clear understanding of all these terms that are, as I said, well defined in the Quran and the Sunnah, then we wouldn't be able to achieve these noble goals. But which wasatiya are we talking about? Or which wahda, which unity that we are talking about? Again, everybody is calling for wasatiya or trying to achieve unity. Unfortunately, one of the obstacles that prevent Muslims from achieving unity and from implementing wasatiya is that they have their own individual interpretation for wasatiya and for unity. So they might commit sins in the eye of Allah the Almighty, but in their own interpretation, they consider it as an act of righteousness. They might spread corruption on earth. They might even kill others on the name of wasatiya and righteousness. This is not because we do not have a clear criteria for wasatiya or clear standards for unity. This is because we have added, we have put into these terms our own interpretations and unfortunately we leave behind the standards and criteria that are found in the Holy Quran which if we are to abide by we are really going to uh, achieve what we want to achieve. And we can judge these actions and deeds that are done either by those who are at the end of extremism or those who claim that they are tolerant, but by doing so, they are just inventing a modified form of Islam, which is, of course, nobody, no wise Muslim scholar can accept, let alone if we are talking about the public. They wouldn't accept, as I said, a modified form of Islam. What they want, yes, they do want tolerance, they do want reconciliation, they do want um, concepts of brotherhood to be witnessed in their life, but they do not want to give compromises that is going to produce a new form of Islam. But at the same time, this doesn't mean to isolate ourselves from the rest of the world. And here comes the role of wasatiyah. It doesn't mean to um, isolate yourself or isolate the rest of the world from you. And at the same time, nobody is calling you to give compromises and leave your own identity. Unity here means to accept the diversity of this ummah. But this diversity within the limits of ethics, of Islamic ethics and values, because we are a community of ethics and values. We have a message of mercy and kindness in this life. That's why we cannot accept any kind of such interpretations of each end. And here comes those who interpret wasatiya as moderation or middle way or being just and fair. Um, all these together can give us the real concept, the correct concept for wasatiya.